Hello, everyone. My name is Mo Zulfikar, and welcome to another episode of Income Investors. With me today is John Weif with another exciting income idea. But before we go into any details, I want to let you know that anything you hear in this video is for information and educational purposes only. Nothing in this video should be taken as personalized investment advice. No matter how safe an investment sounds, there are risks involved. To read more about it, please see the description below. It's time for income investors to dip their toes into real estate investment trusts or REITs for short, especially profitable ones like we are going to talk about today, Highwood Properties Inc. traded on New York Stock Exchange under symbol HIW. John? Yeah, thanks, Mo. REITs took a big hit during the, the pandemic, and that downward pressure continued since early 2022 when the Federal Reserve began its aggressive rate hike policy, thinking, of course, that rising interest rates hurt REITs, but that isn't necessarily the case. If anything, REITs should do well when interest rates climb. That's because REITs have annual rent escalators built into their contracts, and they're generally tied to the consumer price index, which tracks inflation. And as inflation is actually cooling down and interest rates are expected to wind down a little bit, income investors are taking another look at REITs, and apparently they like what they're seeing. Yeah, more broadly, the iShares Core U.S. REIT ETF, which trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol USRT, is up roughly 8.75% since the start of 2023, and it's actually rallied 15% since March. And... John, now let's dig right into it. What does Highwood Properties Inc. do? Uh, what kind of businesses they're involved in? And, you know, what kind of properties they own? Yeah, they're a member of the S&P Midcap 400 Index. Highwoods owns, develops, acquires, leases, and manages uh, properties primarily in uh, BBDs, which is an acronym for the best business districts of uh, cities like Atlanta, Charlotte, Dallas, Nashville, Orlando. Uh, Raleigh, Richmond, and Tampa. Now you might be asking, why are they concentrated in the Sun Belt? Well, according to a report from the Urban Land Institute, the top real estate markets are in the South. Number one is Nashville. Number two is Dallas-Fort Worth. Atlanta is number three. Tampa, St. Petersburg, Florida is number five. Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina is number six. And Charlotte is number 10. Uh, the Sun Belt is also reporting employment growth that is two times the national average and population growth, the growth that is two and a half times the national average. Now, the company's portfolio covers 28.8 million square feet. And to put that into context, that's about 500 NFL football fields. The company has an occupancy rate of 89.6%, with rent expanding at a compound annual growth rate of 4.0%. The current U.S. inflation rate is 2.9%. The average lease expiry, which measures the length of leases, is six years. The biggest customers include, I think, companies that most people would recognize, Bank of America, the federal government. Metropolitan Life Insurance, Mars Pet Care, and Vanderbilt University. How did it perform in the first quarter of 2023? First quarter ended March 31st. Highwoods announced that total revenue increased 3% to $212.7 million. Net income climbed an impressive 8.8% to $43.8 million, or $0.42 cents per share. And the all-important funds from operation came in at $106.3 million, or $0.98 cents per share uh, during the, the quarter. The company leased 522,000 square feet. This includes 220,000 square feet of new leases. It also delivered rent growth of 15.9% and cash rent growth of 2%. On the investment side, it sold a small parcel like 0.2 acres of non-core land in Nashville for 1.9 million. And it has a current development pipeline of pretty big 518 million, and that covers 1.6 million square feet. John, we have talked about here that, you know, Past performance is great, but what really matters when you're trying to, you know, find solid companies is what's ahead, because that's what stock market cares about as well. How's the outlook uh, looking like here? Income investors should be pretty happy. Thanks to solid first quarter results, Highwoods uh, actually updated its outlook for 2023, which includes increased funds from operation and same store property cash net operating income growth at their respective midpoints. So for 2023, funds from operations should be in the range of $3.68 to $3.85 per share. And year-end occupancy should increase to a range of 89 to 91%. And I see this company has a dividend, a quarterly dividend of about $0.50. Cents. Explain a little bit about its distribution and what kind of income could income generate income investors make. Yeah, a, a good question. Highwoods actually provides investors with plenty of safety, having raised its distribution for the last five years. 
It also has a long history of paying an annual dividend, 27 years and counting. Most recently, uh, this past April, the company's board declared a cash dividend of 50 cents per share or $2 on an annualized basis for a yield of 7.84%. That's more than double the current inflation rate of 2.9%. Uh, as for HIW stock, as noted earlier, the entire REIT industry has been under pressure since the Federal Reserve started raising uh, its key lending rate. But investor optimism of potential pause and reduction in rate hikes has brought back bulls into the into the REIT mix. Highwoods property stock may be down 2.8% year to date, but it's actually up 14% over the last month alone. Uh, the bullish move is justified, at least uh, according to Wall Street, with analysts providing a 12-month high estimate of $35 per share. That move upward would actually put HIW stock back onto a trajectory that it's been enjoying since the start of the new millennium. The only thing that got in the way of HIW's upward growth since 2000 has been the financial crisis and COVID-19. Interestingly, if you look at its chart, its current support level, which it just recently bounced off of, was the record level it hit in early 2007, just before the financial crisis. Highwood Properties, Inc. is a great office read focused on the U.S. Sunbelt. The company has a high-quality portfolio in attractive markets, resilient leasing and operations, a strong balance sheet, and plenty of opportunities for growth. It recently reported strong financial results and operating results and increases full year guidance. Thanks to this reliable cash available for distribution and funds from operation growth, income investors have been on the receiving end of a safe high dividends for decades. With U.S. economic data pointing to a mild short recession, if one at all, the outlook for office REITs like Highwood Properties, its dividend and stock remains excellent. That's it for today. We'll be back with another video soon. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye for now.